Hey what guys, up? it is us hey. normies back to watch more Better Call Saul. We're here to watch season four, episode two. This one is titled "Breathe." Breathe. I mean, sh shit. I I'll tell you right now, it's, it's been hard to breathe these last couple episodes. Yeah, things mm -hmm. have been getting kind of crazy, especially Salamanca. the scene in my. Yeah, man, that was, Mickey took the words right out of my mouth, bro. Salamanca, all, all of them scenes, it's really, really hard for us not to go, what the fuck is going on? Um, I, I was saying this before in our early discussion. I don't understand uh, why Better Call Saul is, like, not top-rated, and it's not, like, on everybody's feed. Yeah. Like, everybody's talking about Ozark, and I get Ozark's awesome, but, like, what the fuck about this, man? It's this weird how many people that really love Breaking Bad never even really gave the show a chance or just watched, yeah. like, one episode, and they were like, eh. Honestly, that would have been one of, that, that would have been me, like, if we weren't watching this on the channel. Like, I, I knew about it, I always meant to watch it, but I think it's, like, that stigma that just follows, uh... Spinoffs, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like spin yeah. spinoffs are seldom good. Yeah, it ain't no <laughs> fear of the shit. Walking Dead, thankfully. Yeah, mm. <laughs> but like this shit is amazing. Like I was saying, like Ozark is getting so much love. Like, what's up, man? This is the this is the real shit, bro. You know? What's up, real? Whatever. I'm to each his. I mean, Car uh, bro, don't get me wrong. Ozark is fucking phenomenal, but man, there's like a special. There's like a. I mean, a Vince Vince Young is a piece. Piece of work, anything he touches, I feel like is just like a masterpiece. And just, yeah. just the videography, all the all the shit he puts in, all the excess shit. That shit is amazing. Yeah, his and cinematography like, I just, impresses me so. I just, I, I, I think I, it's like I, I, uh, the same. I think his name is Michael Clovis or something that Michael does the cinematography. Clovis. But he's he's pretty much got the same cast like crew. I yeah. mean, yeah. behind Better Call Saul. So it's that whole crew, the whole unit, just knows how to function. I think really well together. I know so well, and like I just I just feel like they and, and, and I, I don't. Think, and they should be talked maybe, about more. And I think it's maybe it's called Better Call Saul. And Saul obviously was a very likable. Um, Saul was a very likable character in Breaking Bad, but he didn't fully jive with everybody so like maybe people are thinking that it's just all about Saul and I don't even I don't even think people realize how much backstory there is here besides Saul yeah cause like I also I'll just say uh, Mike you know what I mean Pop Pop dude if the show was called Better Call Jonathan Mike Banks, it would be it would be highly rated <laughs> <laughs> I know but like Jonathan Banks is like just to see him just, just do so well and just like come out in this character like he's watching him break bad has been a thing on its own that i feel like should oh yeah man. actually uh more so than the salamanca thing i i just wanted us to pick up right where we left off in that room where he was like that's your cross to bear i i, I really wanted yeah. that was fucked oh, up oh god that was, mm. was that was so that, fucked yeah. up that one yeah that one yeah. really yeah. that one really ugh. yeah and i will also i will also say yes yes but jimmy He's not a good dude, man. He's fucking. Uh, <laughs> he's he's not a good dude. <laughs> I ain't no bang <laughs> way. I ain't no bang way. Get out of here, Wagner, bro. I'm just fucking. The heat over I'm here. Just saying, dude, look. <laughs> he was hey, bro, bad. Look. I knew he was bad before anybody else did. Okay, no, no. no. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I'm not saying uh, he was bad before I knew that. I'm just saying this little last act he did, man. That, that shit was fucked up, bro. Yeah. That was so I fucked up. That was a new even... low. I'm sorry. I, I would not be able to. Okay, shit that I know. I'm sorry, I'm for cutting you off, babe. Shit that I will not be able to fucking live with. I, I, I Yeah, I can do that. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's get to it. Let's see what the let's see what's become of that. Wait, wait, run ahead. Run a thing. I didn't say it's not important. I just said maybe. He's no, I, so, I, I, I just want to cover that. That's what is this? That. That's a weird way to mourn. Oh, okay. mourn what? Maybe he's oh. mourning. <laughs> what? That's a way to mourn, just to put off all the blame. I'm sorry. I mean, like, kind of. Yeah, like, kind of. Like some people, That's some people do way way irrational things. You know, some people do. <laughs> I mean that is true. Some that is a do bad thing. very vulnerable. But that that was totally just his out. You know, it's like ooh. Yeah. And um, what, uh, just cross the bay. Kim, Kim for like I would say just allowing it and like just being kind of okay with it, bro. She's in the wrong too, man. No, no, like no, no, so... no, 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 no. She gave him the side eye. She gave him the side eye. I, I know, mean, I mean, I know, in, I know, in that I know, moment, but... she can't really call him out. But I don't think she was cool with that at all. Hold on, okay, why can't she not call him out? I mean, yeah, exactly. it's just a weird. I would have situation. It's because it's uh, yeah, yeah. It's I would. It's just a weird I think situation. She's, she's going to. It just happened. So if she like falls. No, yeah. Outside, she she definitely she, gave she him the side him. eye. She, uh, yeah, I, just, I, I hope we pick up right where we left off. 
Uh, yeah, me too. And like I was gonna say, if, if Kim is okay with all this shit, he continues to keep. Yeah, fucking with she's, him, bro. she's just as bad. She's she's just as just as bad as him, bro. That's yeah. all I gotta say. She's just as she's aiding and embedding. Yep. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. yeah. All right, she continues, but, but she definitely gives the hey, side eye, so I don't think she's cool. This guys, episode guys, is called hey, Breathy. Yeah, guys, good pre pre discussion, man. I, that's why I love this shit. This, this is amazing. Solid, solid. All right, y'all, let's get the, let's get the show on the road, guys. This ain't, this ain't no market substitute. Nice. Please support the OG content on Netflix. Get the Blu-ray. Watch it all beforehand. Um, if you can't do, I mean, if you want support us on Patreon, we are a bunch of ups to the head. Uh, we've got the, our uncuts on there as well. If you can't do either of that, please comment, like, or subscribe. There's a bell right there for notifications. You guys are awesome. Let's get this show on the road. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bro, that bastard. He's no longer in a coma. Oh, we are so sick, dude. Or whether he will. Yeah, that. That's the vet guy usually, right? That's the guy that. That's his. That's his doctor. Gave Gus his blood. Yeah, that's his doctor. Yeah, over the border. In the end, I can think of no better judgment on this man. <laughs> Isn't this what he deserves? I decide what he deserves. Damn. Damn. Well, you should have decided quicker, homie, because it doesn't no end well for you. Oh yeah, y'all. He, he was saving him last episode just so he could decide how to kill him. Not because he was a n nice. Job interviews <laughs> lined up. I want to get an early job while I'm starting down south. Office manager interview in Polvadera. You know, you can take some time off. Nobody's gonna ding you for not having a steady job. She right letting this, this shit slide, bro. We we don't know if she let it slide. She could have talked to him like yeah. right afterwards. We shouldn't see him. I I think she's. I think she's no. trying to find a moment to talk to him. But he's just like go go go. go. Well, hey, Dustin. I like speaking in your ear. Oh, shit. Michelle McLaren. Something's gonna happen. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's just. She's dead, directed right? some Walking yeah. Dead episodes as well. Man, I hope nothing bad happens to him. Okay, he's Papa. there. So sorry, Joe. Fatherly disappointment is a rough one to, uh, to take. Uh, don't tell me no. You don't want the money. Am I pay him off? Let's get dirty con eso. Man, this is... He won't even say a word or look at his ass. Ugh, that was such a good scene. Oh, dude, this is really heartbreaking. I feel like this is all a tragic He's story. just trying to get out. Yeah, his dad was so mad. That was really awesome. That scene back from man. And whoever is that guy that played his dad, he's yeah. really, really good. And like you said, the directing is just being so good. Cause when you just pause and let it breathe silently sometimes. It speaks volumes more than any dialogue. Like, you know, they were directed really well. Or the script was written really well. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, when were it there ever copies so of Lazy early, Seasons? like, 2000. They started this company almost 50 years ago. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> well, we think the other fellow is Frank Corker. <laughs> I must have lied on him a lot. That's a thermofax. It needed a specially coated paper to get an image off one of those babies. Huh? You know your stuff? Talk to a lot of repairmen. A lot. <laughs> they love talking shop. They are a lonely bunch, for sure. <laughs> God. What the fuck? We don't find kids much interested anymore. Yeah, this generation is all hacky sack and video games. Oh my god. Hacky sack and video I used, games. I used to hacky sack, kind of, sort of. Yeah, there'd be that group of kids in high school, in high school. outside after lunch, so just in a circle. You were a lawyer. Oh my god, he's the lawyer from uh, It's Always what Sunny changed? in Philadelphia. I know you're looking for somebody with sales experience, and I don't have any. Except being a lawyer. Being a lawyer, my job was sales. I was selling the judges, I was selling the jury. Sometimes I was selling the clients to take the best deal from a series of bad options. But every hour of every day, I was mm -hmm. convincing, persuading, Undo. I was selling. That's what he's really good at. Yeah. I hear what you're saying. We have a lot of high ticket items and our clientele primed to say no. Well, my spirit animal is a Gila monster once I latch <laughs> <laughs> I need Saul in an earpiece talking to me next time I go in for a job interview. Right. They're going to give it to him. Yeah, That's his sales job. He's right. They're not going to give it to him. Dope ass suit. He might just be overqualified. That's why I may not give it to him. And he doesn't I, want to He's going to go get her at least. He's trying to get a job now. He's out, he's out there. It's just like... You no, know, he can't be a lawyer. 
Nah, uh, no, 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 he's got one last yeah. zinger. He's got to sell him with a zinger. I'm sorry, can oh, I just wow. have like another minute? Oh, one of y'all is like five yeah. seconds ahead. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Time you spend looking for someone is time I could be out there working for you. There are salesmen out there with way more experience than me. I can tell you this, none of them will have the connection to your machines that I do. I worked in the mail room. I know how important the copy machine is. Seems really. I feel like this is almost selling themselves. I know better than anyone that the copier, it's the beating heart of any business. It goes down, it causes delays, that is lost money, now. that is frustrated employees, that's a negative work environment, that's a business on life support. And God damn it, I'm ready to buy a copier. That is a healthy, <laughs> strong part. He's selling himself. I don't know, now I feel like he's going a little overboard. <laughs> no, I think this is the right call. Yep, he got the job. Nah, bro, he sold himself. <laughs> you could, could, could you leave? Like, if he... If he could sell himself, if you can he could sell, sell a wrench, you can sell a ball. Welcome to the team. Yeah! Hey. Really? Damn right. You were going to take some time, though, and uh, consider your options, but uh, I just come in and do that little song and dance, and I'm in. That's what right. the fuck you want, Jimmy? Hold up. You, he knows something's wrong. Bro, take it! You don't know me. I just came in off the street. What are you doing? No due you diligence? Yourself. No background check? So you're not... Taking the job? No, I'm not taking the job. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the I'm fuck? So what the fuck is this? What kind of backwards yeah, he's, he's therapy? Doing this for his type own ego or what? Yeah, I don't get it. He feels like he's just doing just to say prove himself he can get a job, but he doesn't want a job. Or, or I thought he was about to flip therapy, it around and be like, like yeah, you know what? You I don't need get security. It. Like I, I thought he was gonna flip it or something. What are you doing, Jimmy? He's, he's, he's lost. It. That shit is nice. Brief cargo. This is he. Meet at what time? I can be there. You let her know. Oh, Lydia's man. like, I, I, I hear that you went t to the premises and, and, and you gave some Black advice. Pants. Oh, fancy. Fancy party. <laughs> have you ever been to a fancy party? I have. Good afternoon. Yeah, Madrigal Electromotive. Straight down the hall, listen to your room on your left. Yeah, that's a dope ass fucking this lobby. Is a fancy <laughs> ass shared Wait, workspace office building. Me. What is this? <laughs> I'm just looking for an explanation. <laughs> you steal an employee's patch while through my warehouse, interfere with operations, and strong arm my facility manager. I'm on your books as a security consultant. If I show my face in your warehouse, it makes for a better cover story. Anyone ever ask if I was there? I was. Plus, you had a few things that needed correcting, so consider it a bonus. Yeah. <laughs> this is meant to be a paper transaction. Your own money. Doing what you did, the way you did it, raises the threat of exposure. The way I see it, it lowers the threat. He's right. Hmm. But they're both right. What's your plan then? Madrigal has eight terminals in the southwest. One down, seven to go. If I asked you to reconsider. I'd ask you to do the same. <laughs> <laughs> it helps, Lydia. I know it's annoying, but he's right. There's no reason to I not love the way do he responds. <laughs> At the moment, you have Gus Fring's respect. I don't want to keep that if I really Oh, shut up, Lydia. Girl, sit Man, back shut down. Up. Yeah, what? what you like you don't have that. Gus's ear. Get the fuck out of here. You know she's crazy. <laughs> oh, 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 it's the cuzzos. Are you the family? Mm-hmm. No. Ustedes son familia? They're, like, unintentionally comical. Sí. Hijos. Oh, shit, they never really yeah. talk much. Nuestro tío. Quiero decirles... Que su tío está recibiendo excelente atención aquí en la place. Pero vamos a intentar algo un poco diferente. Cuando el cerebro se daña por un derrame cerebral, esas partes no se pueden reparar. Nuestro trabajo es estimular esas mismas partes para que puedan reconectarse. Vamos a empezar aquí, con las piernas. When did they get here? Mm -hmm. Don't worry. We're still running things. Mm -hmm. también son familiares? Para mí, la familia. Les pido que le hablen a Héctor. Hay la probabilidad que en cierto nivel él puede oír. Cuanto más le hablen, más se activará su cerebro para recordar y encontrar caminos para reconectarse. Mucho gusto conocerlos. <laughs> 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 Hey man, those offices are on point though. Look at look at that look at that maroon shoes and a blue suit, bro. Yep. That's on point. Touch his leg. Don Hector. Todo está bien allá afuera. Oh my god. 
Todos nuestros hombres se han mantenido... Así es, correcto. Nos mantenemos al corriente del <laughs> Todo se ve bien. Yo, is this shit supposed to be hilarious? Because I'm, like, cracking up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think, I think it is. There's yeah. been a lot of moments this episode where they're just kind of letting the silence ride. It's like, talk to your loved one. They can hear you. It's like, Don, uh, the count is good. Like, we're <laughs> doing deals. Se ve bien, Don Hector. Los doctores lo van a mejorar para superar esto. Y están más fuerte que nunca. Playing the part. Playing this part. The way he said it, it almost... He's so mad. It looks like he's mad. It's almost believable. What happened to the, to the cousins to make it. them so silent? I would have believed it. No, those twins are hilarious. I've though. heard them say, like, four words through the span of both shows. <laughs> yes. It's me. Now is not a good time. I'm in town. I can easily meet wherever it's convenient. Babe, look at that view! I spoke with your security contractor. I explained the situation again. But he's going to keep doing what he's doing. What he's doing makes no sense. Do his reasons matter? They do, if he's unreliable. He's reliable. So I'm just supposed to let him keep stealing my employees' badges. This isn't something I want to spend my time worrying about. Then I suggest you give the man a badge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, he laid down the For law, Lydia. Like, why didn't the, he lay down the law? Did oh, that solution not come to you? That's huge yeah. that he like stuck up for yeah. Mike yeah. like that. He's probably known Lydia a lot longer. Yeah. But he knows Mike is worth it. Yeah. It's a menacing shot. What's on there? Ah. Uh, what is he reading? That's selective focus. That's the chicken recipe, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you want me back at the hospital? No. Call Victor. Victor. Have him meet us. Oh, I'm going to Victor. Hmm. In memory of Chuck or something like that. Damn. I know Chuck was thorough, but even I didn't think there was going to be this much paperwork. This is the agreement for the transfer property as discussed. Oh, Rebecca oh. looks a little smitten with Howard. Jimmy's not coming. I'm here on his behalf. We thought, since Rebecca was still in town, better to talk through the estate in person. As far as Jimmy's concerned, all that's left is for him to sign this agreement letter. Once that's done, we can disperse his share of the estate. Let me guess. Four thousand? Five. It's what you give when you want to cut someone out of a will but not have it contested. Just enough money to show the recipient wasn't forgotten. Chuck also left a substantial endowment for a scholarship for deserving youth. I was hoping Jimmy would agree to serve on the board. I'll let him know. Oof. What else? Well... Damn, what's going on here? What's Chuck left Jimmy a personal letter. right? His eyes only. Man, Damn. Howard, I, she should understand. This is not Hamlet's or Chuck's fault. Howard, thank you for everything that you've done. I know it's been difficult. It's hard on all of us. Let me walk you out. Yeah, he's not taking it well at all. He's so flustered. My webs in my fingers I just are very dry. Had to know what were you thinking? What were you thinking when you came to Jimmy on the day of his brother's funeral and laid that shit on him? The Chuck. Killed himself? What's wrong with you? Whoa. Uh, I thought... What? Whoa. Uh, I thought I owed it to Jimmy to tell him. Owed it to him? Bro, she's no better than Jimmy. Did you owe it to Rebecca? You tell her your theory? That Chuck intentionally set himself on fire? I guess you just saved that one for Jimmy. Again, I didn't do All right. I did. Why well, watch comedy? That, that's to not make what yourself I was to feel do. better by unloading your guilt. Oh, I don't think you're. I think you're off base right? here, Kim. As long as Howard Hamlin is okay. Kim, I, I don't. Yeah, you got this backwards, girl. Howard. Shut the fuck up. Howard. I know. He was the Yo, realist. she got this shit Jimmy, twisted. She needs to shut up. Did I hear you right? You want him to serve on the board of a scholarship committee? A scholarship that Chuck never in a million years would have given to Jimmy. Oh, what's this too? Huh, Howard? What's in this? One last screw you, little brother, from beyond the grave? Am I really supposed to do this to him? All right, Kim. What can I do to make it better? Oh, poor Howard, man. Breathe. There is nothing you can do. It was not his you fucking fault. Uh, Howard did do nothing wrong. He's just a fucking messenger. Hey, man. Howard I can deserve I, I don't know. I, feel, I, I, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know. I don't know. I know, I bro. Know. Howard is... Like, he was grieving, too. I can see too. why he she like did he that, like, but... Tell dude, like, that he didn't have his proper time. Displaced. Now we all agree. We don't know. That Howard is a sacrificial lamb, bro. What the fuck? I feel like they're using Howard as a punching bag right now. Yep, and that's fucking it's bullshit. Straight up, man. That's so bullshit. In case there's words now. I can see why she did it, but that was so wrong. 
I remember correctly, in uh, five minutes, one of the classic movie channels is showing... Uh, is it Thai food? Wait, is it Thai? Give him that vote. Give him the letter. I would want a letter. Give him the letter, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, how was your day? I just mostly stay here, trying to get organized. How did you fuck this Man, one up, just as bad. I guess she doesn't want to go she against not. him this She time. might even write later. Do you have a second? You know, like, hey, how did he fuck this up? I don't know. They, no one wants to pretend like Chuck, uh, Chuck is right. Or not Chuck, Howard. What is he thinking about? What next Remember color? those things? What? Jeez. This motherfucker. He was just casing the fucking joint. Eight thousand dollars. Wow. Hey, it's me. Listen, I got something for you. It's a job. I think you're really gonna like this. Call me. I don't know, bro. Ham. Mike is busy enough now as it is. Going so on. I wonder if he went back in there for the second half of the interview because he wasn't like comfortable with how much he had. Yeah. Case the Damn. joint. He was just dope ass fucking muscle time. Bar. What an asshole, dude. Where's the rest? I only see five. Mm. It's a one-time only. You can't do that. Not the way we see it. That's the way it is. Can't do that now. Salamangas get six. We're not leaving without six. Your boss isn't giving orders. He barely even opened his eyes. I'm giving the orders. Take the five, I'll leave with nothing. Do you want to go? You heard him. Six. Playing his part. Put it away. Do you really want to do this? Damn, my bro. Hitchman versus Hitchman. Yeah, right. That's what Salamanca would want. I'm proud of him. He's yeah. hustling another six. Another one out of him. Y'all some pushovers, man. Damn. Y'all just look like a bunch of bitches. That's what I thought. Man, don't, don't do this. Damn, they some pushovers, bro. I mean, <laughs> I guess you gotta do it. Because the, there's still the Salamanca name out there, and the cousin, mm -hmm. and the cousin twins are still out there. But mm -hmm. That's amigos. how you do it. We had them pissing in the pants. No, I don't know, about man. Mm -hmm. They're about to die. No, man, I don't know, man. I don't know. Damn, Gus! Damn, Gus! Oh, no! Oh, no, I think not just gonna die! Holy fuckaroo! I know what you've light. done. The Salamancas. They do not. Do you understand what I'm saying? Damn. Damn. That's a boss ass. No, Arturo. Boss Arturo, no. Ass. You have them pissing in their pants. From now on. You work for me. You are mine. Oh, God. There's some more subtle ways of establishing dominance, bro. Breathe. Fucking. Holy Damn. shit. Breathe. And so Gus walks off into the blackness. <laughs> Breathe. Hey, man, I just want to say, mm, out of nice. all the dons, all the bosses, Gus is the only motherfucker I know that's not afraid to get his fucking hands oh, dirty. So like, he awesome. will get up close and personal, bro. Like, that was, you see that shit? He was sadistic, bro. It was. <laughs> yeah. Like, he, dude. You. Bro came like, out of nowhere, Pat, you know what I mean? Bro. Like, most people, most people send out their henchmen to do that kind of a fucking act, you feel yeah. me? Yeah. But, like, Gus is like, no, I want to do it. And he's like, no. The balls on that man. <laughs> bro, I'm serious. Like, the dude, kill it. Like, dude, it's because it's the second time I've seen him do something like this. Remember when he killed the old boy and he, like, cut his, like, cut his throat yeah, off, bro, right cutter. in front of him? The box cutter shit. This one is breathe. And he just, like, no mercy, bro. He, it's just like, even, I don't think Cartel even operated on that shit. I don't know, man. He's very cartel like man, and very sadistic so in his own way. Fucking cool. He goes, You are mine. I'm like, Yeah. You are mine. That was like a little, a little messed I, up. Why you gotta was kill so Arturo for, shooketh. man? Ar he Arturo was, so was just trying shooketh. to. He was just trying to be a good, good uh, henchman, you know. <laughs> I, 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 I feel like on. Arturo. I feel like Arturo was probably bluffing, and then when Nacho pulled out the gun, you saw, you saw Arturo with the side eye, like, bro, damn. <laughs> <laughs> and then now you got Gotham too. <laughs> 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 
poor Arturo, man. All he, all he was trying to do is, like, you know, help uh, Hector wake up and everything. <laughs> bro, hey, I feel so... Hey, bro, that, that scene with Nacho and his dad, and he was like, yeah. he's like, Ejo, when are you going to be out of all this? Bro, that shit broke my heart, you know what I mean? Because it's like... Cause he's just a good dad. Because you, know, yeah, you, know, you, know, you know Nacho's dad is just like a really, really good dad. He just do, he doesn't want any help. He doesn't want any of that. He just wants to work hard, you know, pray, go to church, and do all that good shit. And Nacho is just like, is Nacho's going to break this man's heart, and it sucks. There were uh, It sucks so much. There were a lot of moments in this episode, or, or maybe we're just not noticing, because I feel like the show does it a lot, but they, they let, really let the silence uh, ride out in, oh, no. in quite a few I, scenes. Mm-hmm. I kept I kept com- commenting back to when Sir you said that also they do something they literally just let the scenes like breathe out and like I was like oh my god breathe doing ah it? that's made another thing for the episode dude they were just yeah. letting were every it was like every scene that we saw today like we saw like even the scene between like the two uh, the uh, the cousins Mike no, no not Mike and Letty even was, <laughs> the cousins <laughs> and like fucking whatever bro like it was so like well done they were able, they they all kept their composure so well you know what I mean and I was like you talk no you talk. And they were all yeah. silent when it needed. It was the, you could tell the tension in the room by just like, just watching the whole thing. And it, yes, it was comedic the way they did it, bro. And it's genius. Yeah, so it was like it was like tense, but also comedic, just because like it's a mob, like a don that's on the table, and they're like, <laughs> oh. oh, the count is accurate today, <laughs> bro. <laughs> what's, even, what's, dude, what's even funnier? What was even funnier? I thought you know, so like that uh, that. Um, that doctor, she's Indian, by the way. She's been and she's in a lot of things. When mm-hmm. she started speaking in Spanish, bro, and the way she was just so nice and courteous about it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Don't worry, we'll take her. Like, like I mean, she either she works for the cartel or she like, or yeah, or she like knows that like yeah, I think I just this is the cartel dude, and I'm taking. I don't know. I don't think she knows. I think she was just doing her job. Yeah, she was just a good yeah. doctor from John Hopkins. Man. Yeah. Just good she was, I, I recognize her from somewhere else. I just don't know where. It's driving me crazy. I'll take like Google her later. Like, it was so well. She she was able to like get the nephews to like respond to her in Spanish and just. <laughs> yeah, they were yeah. like a little shocked, like low key. Like, and they had to know? respond then. They had no other excuse really. Yeah, otherwise they wouldn't be in that room. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, was, that was cool. Um, what was I going to say? So, yeah, it was a good episode. Um, I mean, Jimmy's obviously on a mission to get a job. You saw in the beginning how he turned down that printer job. I was so confu- confused by that reverse psychology. Like, what was going he on was with that? He was casing. Casing? Or just like... Yeah, he was kids getting getting a high off of it. I thought he was uh, just getting a high off of being denied. Well, I mean, he, he went for that figure at the end. Uh, like my my theory now is yeah I mean he was probably getting a high off of it too. We mean, yeah. Um, Cause didn't he go to another job interview after that? He did go to another job interview, but for that one specifically, the fact that they tied it up with that little figurine that's worth nine grand. I I, I my my working theory is he went back for the second half of that interview because he wasn't comfortable with the amount of time he had cased the joint. Like he was probably in there just like scoping it out a little bit more. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Um, I don't know. He could have got that printer job and probably done well with it. I mean, I think he sold himself really well and everything. So, yeah. sad for that. Um, Hector and Zinco. I found it so funny when they were talking to him, but anyway. What do you guys feel about, like, Rebecca getting chunks of that property and, like, Kim basically turning it down on Jimmy's behalf kind of thing? I, um, I, I understand. And even show him the letter. I understand where the hostility was coming from, from Kim's end, because, I mean, she, she's out, I mean, you know, that's her man, and she's got to stand up for him or whatever, and there's, yeah. pro- there's probably been a lot of conversations, you know, that we don't see, you know, not necessarily... Between anything. the couple. Yeah, you know, and so I understand where the hostility was coming from, but it just sucks, because, like, we know the truth, and we know how di- misplaced that anger was, and it just sucks. No, I she she fucked up. Like, I, like, like. First off, the wife had nothing to do with it because she didn't she didn't anything about Chuck and the, the, that relationship. And the wife was already divorced for like a long time before that. And is it is it is it Chuck's job to leave stuff for Jeff? Like, if for Jimmy, it's not his responsibility to leave anything. He could leave whatever the fuck he wants because they didn't even have a good relationship if, if they did. So if it's five grand, it's five grand, bro, because he didn't do shit for him. Even though, he, yeah. I, it, like, that relationship, they, they never had a good relationship. So, like, I understood, like, he took care of him and all that stuff. But, like, that's easy to do. But, but was still. there more written in the will? 
I, I, I mean, just I like think, he can go and like you know pick some stuff out of the state what he wants, but he doesn't even well, want anything, any memories well, they, or they, anything. Um, well, that that was the point of the check where she was like, oh, let me guess, four. Grand. Yeah, it's only five for it. So that that's yeah. the check that they give where he's like, uh, he's written out of the will essentially. Yeah. yeah. I also yeah. I also think it was very kind of like unfair of her not to like give Jimmy the note. I mean, maybe she was just waiting for a better proper nah, time. Nah, man. Whenever, whenever you see that, not, that that scene in any sort of show, when they put that shit away, that means they do it for good. I don't know, man. She it's was a just, trope that happens She was a lot. really passionate, though, like, how she was yelling at Howard. I don't feel like Howard deserved Yeah, he did not he deserve that. Like, that and get like, them, like he, he didn't do I mean, nothing right. wrong. He was a, just a messenger. She never put Jimmy on that youth board or anything and yada yada. But, like, man, she really did take it out on Howard. A little so. bit, a little too harshly. I don't think Howard meant anything wrong by telling no. Jimmy that. Man, back, but, no. I think he was just grieving, doing what he did at the best time he thought he could. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? It just, it just sucks. But yeah. So, I, what does I, it cost more money to contest a will than five thousand dollars? Is that why, like, that's the? Amount? No, no, no. It's not contesting. They essentially just buy more of the will. You know? But like, yeah, how can that. you do that? I, like, I'm not a legal or, professional, or, or, man. No, 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 no. I, 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 or, I don't, be I don't think he was written in the thing. We know legal advice. We I don't, don't think he was written in the will in the first place, and that's like consolation money, I guess, to make it seem like you weren't forgotten. I don't know. I don't know. I have to go back and watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and honestly, like he should read that letter. Who knows what the letter says? Talked about everything. Yeah, I think so, Crazy. Mike. Oh, Mike and Lydia. Yeah, uh, I think, uh, I mean, give him the fucking badge. <laughs> Duh, he's doing yeah. your job for. He's doing the job you literally that, hired him on paper for. That is actually huge on how big of an impression uh, Mike has made on Gus because Mike. Or I mean, I'm sorry, Gus has known Lydia for a while. It seems like, and for him to stick up for Mike, who's really just entered the picture, like for him to be like, give him a badge. You know that that that's that's huge. yeah. Like I, I, I knew like she. Go on, sorry. That. Just real quick, I also feel like that's kind of like just distracted when he was on the phone with Lydia. I saw yeah. like uh, Hector's like paperwork come in and stuff. And like, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I'll also, I mean, no, I'm gonna go with Mickey M- 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 on this because think about it also like this, man. Like Lydia doesn't own Madrigal. She she works a big part of it. You know what I mean? So she's literally going back around the back of her like partners. You know, the people up ahead. That I think it was the only people that knew about what was happening and doing it and doing putting Mike on. So like. There is a huge amount of trust for him, you know, for that to happen. So, yeah, I, I think there might, I mean, like, what am I saying? Gus really, really yeah. does have, a, like, a strong, like, I don't know, love or whatever the fuck Mike. Respect. Even when she was giving the empty threat to Mike about, like, you better make sure you stay on Gus's safe side. I, oh, I didn't I know. Mute, <laughs> unmute myself, but I was yeah. like, you have, there's no way you have Gus's ear in any of this. <laughs> 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 Yeah, like, I, 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 I didn't yeah. mute myself, unmute myself either. But I was like, yeah, stop trying to be a badass. Go drink your stuff. <laughs> <Hey, laughs> honestly, like in the whole thing, Mike, I'm on Mike's side, bro. That's like, I think his front is better than Lydia's front, like yeah. making face. Yeah, and, and like uh, if I were Gus hearing that, I'd be like, well, then you do have weak ass security if he's able to do that so easily. <laughs> hey. So get him a fucking badge. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of things I want, I want to bring up before we end it. One thing back about. Uh, the whole Lydia thing. Lydia is living the high life, bro. Like, I think every scene that they showed Lydia with, bro, like, before an ending, like, she, like, had some sort of high life living from, like, <laughs> that one little meeting room to, like, her just being on top of whatever in Albuquerque, just chilling. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. That, yeah. You know what I mean? Good it just, call. they gave her a lot of finesse. It's like, I'm and in another, town. It's like, you'd look like you're on vacation. <laughs> yeah. Another thing that they really, really did good well catch. is that they really, they really did good, did a good job on showing the times. Like, talking about hacky sacks and video games <laughs> like every they're they're, they're coffee, really really hitting that early printers, 2000 sh- the 2000 shit. Of every, uh, oh company. dude i started dude, it's so well done when those, when those printers were on like the carousel like it was like the most oh, oh the, the yeah. lazy susan <laughs> i was like why are they on lazy susan i laugh because you gotta think about it like this man that was like a booming business back in the day bro copy bro what is the most important thing right now for any office wi-fi now, yeah. back in the day, bro, it was a copy printer machine. Think about it like that, bro. Now you don't need that shit anymore. That's a dying, that is a dying, in, dead industry. Oh God, that yep. this shows dying industry. I'm, I'm just saying, bro, like, they literally just went back and they showed an industry back back in the day that was fucking booming, probably. And it was a lot of, like, oh, you know, right, family right. businesses that did a lot of copy oh industry shit. Nah, you're right. And that is, like, it's I think good, good even good up until, like, 2005-ish, and then it crashed, probably. Yeah, around, dude. Like, yeah. Yeah, this, this shit was like like literally fifteen years ago, bro. You know what I mean? Well, it's who, like who's it's nuts. got a fax number these days? 
<laughs> I got e People still though. be asking for it, though. Like, people are still like, you guys don't have a fax machine, do you? And I'm like, what? <laughs> what do you like, do you not know email to work copy, too? Please like, take a picture of Come on. <laughs> uh, this was a good episode. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. These episodes are all good, honestly. Like, I love, I love this show. Oh, one of my man, favorite, I, I uh, a... one of my favorite quintessential. I, I keep calling it a Vince Gilligan shot, even though I know he's not the cinematographer. Who, who's the cinematographer? Uh, I think uh, it's like Mike Clovis or something like that. Something Mike like Clovis. Michael Clovis. Well, wh- whoever yeah. it is, like the quintessential Vince Gilligan team shot was like when. Uh, uh, Nacho's dad was opening up, sh- uh, opening up the shop, and and the view was from down below. It, it was just yeah. I, like, who thinks? It, I don't know, man. He just thinks. Bro, just, there there were some good ones. Even he just like thinks bro, to uh, place the camera where you wouldn't think to do it, but it just looks so fucking good, dude. Yeah. His his team is fucking elite. Like I the, call it, the Gilligan and team elite, bro. They're elites for this, real. They need to be. Recognize way more. There were yeah. like a few other Trap. shots I'm too, like to the, the, the silhouette. First name before the next episode. I'm pretty sure it's I, Michael I Clovis you. or something like you. that. He's like he's been in all the episodes, but yeah. and Breaking Bad too. I don't know what too. that lady's name is. Whatever, I'll find her later. But uh, they there was also the dark silhouette shot when Mike was meeting with Lydia, and there was a shot where the Jimmy and uh, what's her name? God damn it, the girl he's with. What can I think of her name? Hello, uh, Kim. Kim, Kim, yeah, Kim. yeah, <laughs> they were in bed Wexler. together, and uh, his, his side was all dark, and the light was on her. That was a very typical one. And lastly, yeah. there was like a cool Fast and the Furious esque shot when Arturo pulled up in his little muscle car when they went to go oh, do yeah, the last yeah, D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what is this shit? About the fucking yeah. street race, but yeah, it was it was cool. It was cool. Man, I just want let's just I want to end it off again. Gus is fucking insane. Uh, bro, Gus is the coolest Gus person in the world. Gus is insane. He's fucking insane, bro. His biggest mistake was just insane. meeting Walter White. His, his, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, that was it. It was his mistake with yeah. meeting Walter White. That was where everything ended for him, bro. Because other than that, the man would have thrived, bro. Fuck. It's just travesty. It's a, it's, a, it, it, it's, tra- it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. Whatever, man. He killed Arturo. Arturo didn't deserve yeah. that. And Walter, plus, you guys bro, didn't like hey. Gus in Breaking Bad. Walter White came I did. I liked him in Breaking Bad. I lo- Bro. Oh, Wal- Walter shit. came in like a messed out hornet, just bouncing off the walls, <laughs> just destroying everything in his path. <laughs> Even though he, having never done meth himself, would just sell yeah, it. He was a messed out <laughs> hornet. Oh my god! Can I be honest with you? Can I be honest with you? I, I know we keep talking about more of this shit, but it just—it really, really surprises me how much Gus went to bat for for Walt, because it, it was from the this, what I'm watching. Bro. I know, I know, but from what I'm watching right now, bro, it just, it feels like Gus is just so smart Careful, and interconnected. Yeah. It's just crazy, it's just crazy to me that he let this meth well, out. Well, because Walter was, his, was his level, though. Like, Walter was just, it, just the same way. I mean, I mean, he tried everything he could to get rid of Walt, too. It was really all about the product. It, and and the, he, he did try to get rid of Walt, but Walt was always just one step ahead, man. And then, uh, yeah, he, he even tried not to meet him initially, right? Because Jesse was with him. He's like, yeah, I don't, he like, I don't meet with the addicts. Yeah, I don't meet addicts. <laughs> I don't meet basics. <laughs> basics. <laughs> All, All right, right anything else, guys? I think I'm I think good. That's it. Those All right, y'all. Things. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. 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 Thanks for watching Better Call Saul with the Normies. Check us out on Patreon for early access and uncut content. Special shout out to our super patrons, Eleanor, Jesse, Joe, Lauren, Luis, Michael, Mike, Nick, Ruby Tiger, Dangerous Nup Tup, Quentin, Abdullah, Allison, Tristan, Diet Dan, Edward, Keyboard Junkie, the NYR fan, and ZJP. And we'll see you all next time.